So the Sephora VIB sale starts tomorrow or if you're like me you'll be shopping tonight at midnight as soon as that discount starts working and i wanted to share some of my fragrance picks for the sale you guys know i'm a huge fragrance lover i have a huge perfume collection huge body mist collection and i picked out 12 scents that i think are just like my go-to's for the spring and summer season. So some of these might be a little tropical, a little bit lighter and not so heavy and warm as a lot of other fall scents. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with Sol de Janeiro because I feel like they have some of the best kind of spring, summer, yummy scents on the market. I narrowed it down to one though and this is their most recent launch and I have been absolutely obsessed with this. This is a really sugary sweet floral vanilla and it's like not so gourmand as their usual scents like the 62, the 71. This one has a little bit more of an elegance to it that I think is just so pretty. This has main notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood and I just get a lot of sugar in this one. It is stunning. I actually find this to be a really close dupe to the Five Cents into Deep Scent that has been sold out multiple times on Sephora, but this is a lot more expensive. Honestly, if you're thinking about this, just get the Sol de Janeiro instead. You can definitely make this last just as long as the perfume by layering, which is why I also recommend getting their Delicia Drench Body Butter. Now, this one's a little bit on the thicker side, so if you don't really like thicker body butters in the spring and summer, you may want to pass on this one in particular but I love a good thick balm I love to butter up my skin like right after a bath or a shower and then layering my fragrance on top and you will be smelling this all day long and I do overspray quite a bit as well that's the key when you want these mists to last long on you but I just, I'm so addicted to this scent. It's seriously one of their best and I highly recommend picking it up if you have not got this yet. It is so good. I feel like nothing says summer like a coconut fragrance. So I had to mention this. This is actually a fragrance oil. This is from Nest. It's their Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. I actually picked this up during last year's spring sale and I do not regret it in the slightest. This is one of the best coconut scents I've ever smelled. It's like a sexy coconut. I don't really like super fruity tropical coconut scents. This has like almost a woodsy type of base that I think just takes it up another level. But seriously, one of the yummiest toasted coconut smells. And you may be thinking, why would I pay that much for this oil? But honestly, these have a lot higher concentration than an actual perfume. You only need a little bit of this. So with this, you can just put a little drop on your pulse points like on your wrist the back of your neck I do like a little bit on like the collarbone and stuff like that you could layer it with some other scents as well but I do feel like it has pretty good scent power on its own you can also mix it in with like a lotion or add a few drops and like rub all over the body too but I really do love this scent I think it smells so delicious for especially like the summertime the notes on this one are creamy coconut tropical tiari blossom and salted mud I wanted to share a couple from Skylar as well. This one has been just one of my top of all time because I love a good cotton candy scent. This is their Boardwalk Delight and this smells like a fresh version of cotton candy. The cotton candy note is very prominent. It's very sweet, sugary, but then it also has almost like this linen type of fresh background that just goes so well together so it's not like sickly sweet or too much. I know a lot of people that don't usually like gourmand scents really end up liking this one. I wear this non-stop for summertime so I cannot wait to pull this back out again and you should definitely try it if you haven't yet especially if you want like the most kind of yummy realistic cotton candy. It is so good. They also make this in a body mist if you don't want to spend quite as much. These will have a little bit more longevity in the perfume, but the body mist is definitely a little bit cheaper. The main notes of this one are cotton candy, raspberry sorbet, and fresh coconut. I wanted to mention this one as well because I've been really loving this one. This one just launched like last month, but this is like the most beautiful kind of fresh apple scent. It is so good if you guys like more true fruity fragrances. 
but the apple is the star of the show with this one. This one has notes of dahlia, apple, and amber. It also has a custard note in the base, which definitely comes out towards the dry down. But this is very prominent apple to me. I don't get much of a floral vibe if you're worried about that. Just yummy, juicy, delicious apple. This is another new launch, which is perfect for the warmer months. This one is Missy by Rosie Jane. And I absolutely love and talk about their Dolce scent all the time, which is like one of my favorite vanillas. But this is truly like a tropical drink in a bottle. It does have a very strong coconut note. A slight hint of sunscreen but the sunscreen doesn't like take over the fragrance because you still get that really yummy pina colada type of cocktail with this one I don't always love scents that are too overly sunscreen so adding in that fruity cocktail twist definitely makes me absolutely love this perfume this one has notes of frangipani green mandarin coconut and pineapple I had to bring this one up of course Kaoli yum pistachio gelato this is another one I love to bring out especially in the spring and summer months because it's so fruity and so delicious. This one has lots of yummy notes in it. It has pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. And I definitely get a ton of the cotton candy in here. It opens up with this like fruity sweetness, like this cotton candy, but you also get like this chilled kind of ice cream gelato shop vibe. The pistachio is not super prominent in this one. You're not getting like a nutty type of fragrance with this. It's really fruity and a slightly powdery for spring. The cotton candy and the whipped cream notes are definitely ones that stand out to me with this one. And you do get a little bit of the pistachio in the base, but all around. It's seriously perfect if you like that bright, juicy, kind of fruity scent for spring. Next we have Alien Goddess by Mugler, which definitely makes you smell like a sexy summer goddess. This one definitely has like a slight coconut note in here, but it's not overpowering. It still smells like a perfume. It has a definite beachy feel to it, and I know it has vanilla in the notes as well. It just blends so well and it's so so pretty on the skin just think of bronze goddess and that is what you get this one's described as a warm floral fragrance with notes of bergamot jasmine and vanilla but i'm telling you you definitely get a beachy kind of coconut vibe with this one it is so pretty also wanted to mention this one from ellis brooklyn this is their sweet perfume this is my favorite from the ellis brooklyn line and if you guys like glossier you but want something with a little bit of sweetness to it i definitely recommend checking this one out i get more compliments on this than i do the glossier i know glossier is said to be one of the most like complimented scents but i swear whenever i'm wearing this someone always comments but i just love the added sweetness to this one glossier you almost has this musky woodiness and this still has that with just adding a yummy fruity sweetness i absolutely love this so much i would describe this as another skin scent just because it does have a lot of musk to it and it's not like an overly fruity fragrance the main notes of this one are pear orris and marshmallow this one i think is a great one to wear in the summer and this is dolce and cabana's devotion this one launched last year and i was hooked from the beginning this one smells kind of like a citrusy pound cake i wouldn't say it's like a lemon pound cake but almost like a orange pound cake but it definitely leans more gourmand it smells edible and it's super sweet now it's definitely not for everyone because i've heard that some people get more of like this lemon kind of cleaner vibe while i get more of a lemon gourmand or a orange blossom gourmand i should say i absolutely love it i think at first it's a little zingy like it's a little bit sharp but the dry down you get more of that like almost pound cake kind of note that is so beautiful and it's such a pretty citrusy vanilla for spring and summer the main notes of this one are candied citrus orange blossom and vanilla and then my last two picks these don't necessarily remind me of like a summer perfume but i just feel like they are great everyday scents first being burberry goddess I am definitely picking up another one of these for the sale. I'm almost done. I just have a baby one ounce size, but I wear the crap out of this. This is a gorgeous non-gourmand type of vanilla. So this is not like your edible type of vanilla. This smells like rich, elegant, beautiful. 
kind of a warm floral but really yummy vanilla. The main notes of this are vanilla infusion, <laughs> vanilla caviar, and vanilla absolute, but there's definitely some other stuff in here besides vanilla. I think it has like a slight lavender note because I know that one's a little powerful on some people. On me, I get mostly the yummy vanillas and it has some type of like citrus in there as well, but it is such a beautiful, I feel like it's a complex vanilla, just not your typical one. I am obsessed with this, so I will definitely be buying more of this during the sale. And last but not least, I had to mention Valentino Donna's Born in Roma. This just works all year round, any occasion from day to night. It's such a good perfume. It smells so fresh and vibrant, but it does have like a vanilla kind of in the base. It is absolutely beautiful. The main notes are black currant, jasmine, and bourbon vanilla, and that black currant definitely gives it that fresh slightly fruity sweetness with the florals in the mid and then your base you get more of that sweet vanilla but i know i had someone ask me if i had just got this bottle because it's like full and yes i did recently just buy a huge size of it because i did use up my one ounce size it's just such a go-to easy throw on and go compliment getter type of perfume so i always always recommend this anytime any event that you could save on this do it so that is it for my perfume recommendations for spring and summer. I wanted to focus this on Sephora fragrances since the VIB sale is this weekend. Um, I did want to mention it's 20% off for Rouge, which starts on Friday. VIB and Insiders shop on April 9th. VIB gets 15% off and then Insiders get 10% off. I'll have all the information in the links in the description box as well as you can shop the YouTube shopping here. I do appreciate if you do use my affiliate links at this sale. It really means a lot. It's something easy you can do to support your favorite YouTubers. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know some of your spring and summer perfume must-haves below that I need to check out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.